systems are crumbling and the world is quaking because of its systemic oppression. What we're looking for in relationships, and that if we don't find that, we are more than happy to not be in a relationship. But he claims he has a wife who's 25, who I imagine comes from a checkered past to be with an old man like that, from a broken home and mold that one into my woman. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. My chicks are scavengers. Guys, get your passport. Check it for us. Heavy in the EU. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. I don't think it's bad timing for the 4B movement. I think it's right on time. Everything that you explained that is happening, the way that systems are crumbling and the world is quaking because of its systemic oppression, it points to liberation in all areas for people in all their identity. Also, I don't think that most women opting into the 4B movement, at least in the U.S., I don't think they're saying um, no men around me ever, that they don't want to be friends with men, that they don't want to, you know, continue to have uh, partnerships and, and teams with men. Some women might be like, no men ever, and rightly so. Mainly what I see is women choosing singleness and sometimes celibacy, and therefore taking away that right from men to marriage or a relationship or hex with them. Ultimately, this is going to help women show up to a revolution and collective liberation even stronger, and it's something that's going to benefit us all. Now, I got to go back to the beginning of that video, because I want to show you guys what, what the person asked. So this is what the guy said. He said, I'm not against... The cause, just that World War Three is at the brink, and it's a genocide going on in Palestine. Countries are drafting. Just feel it's bad timing. Now, rightfully so, right? It, it is bad timing. Now, if women aren't having babies and occupied with taking care of babies, what's going to happen? They're most likely going to be put up for the draft. And that went way over her head. But it goes to show. This is the way they're thinking. The man made sense with his statement. And she said, I don't think it's bad timing. And so you think it's a great time for one to be alone? That means winter is coming, right? He didn't even talk about what's going on in, in the West with inflation happening. So you think that's not going to increase? These women are lost. <laughs> Are some men so desperate for their preconceived notions about what women want to be true? We're telling you in very simple, uncomplicated terms what we're looking for in relationships. And that if we don't find that, we are more than happy to not be in a relationship. We do not care. We're more than happy to be single. Never get married. Never have children. And the responses are either we built the world which A, no you didn't, and B, even if you did, why do I have to date you then? Because your ancestor invented the light bulb. Ridiculous. 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 Or that our clearly observed reality is wrong. Like this comment makes no sense to me. You'll wake up one day and realize how lonely you are. Oh, absolutely. And for what? All for your pride. So first of all, I'm 45. So over 27, unmarried, female, what do you call this lady? In China, if women who remain unmarried in their late 20s and 30s, we call them Shengnu. Well, I'm not sure what this someday you speak of will be. Which means leftover women. Since you don't acknowledge that women exist past about 35. And why are my life choices just about pride? Like, I can very clearly make objective decisions about what makes me happy and what doesn't make me happy. When you start actually questioning the patriarchy and truly examining the truth of the situation, not what you've been told to want, but what you truly want. What women say and what women do are fundamentally two different things. You should be paying attention to what she does, to her actions, to her behaviors. If you take that time with yourself 
and evaluate reality, not your conditioning and everything that you've been told, but what is true and real for you, and you come to an honest conclusion, why does that upset you so much? Why does it bother you so much that I'm happy? Maybe, just maybe, telling women that if you don't pick a man, you'll be sorry, isn't the selling point you think it is. Because I gotta tell you, more and more and more women aren't picking men, and we're not sorry. Oh, man. That's why they, they truly don't understand. It's going to be hard, so hard on women, right? The women that are smart are looking around, and they see the climate. They see, wait a minute. Like, I've seen TikToks on women talking about the conspiracy theories and saying they're not conspiracies anymore and saying I have my husband and kids. And we're all making sure we're good during these times. And then you have women like her, right? So the guy in the past video was right. And even this guy's right. And he he said it in the wrong way. Like, forget being lonely. One day you'll wake up one day and realize how lonely you are and in trouble you are. People don't realize things until it's the last minute, right? Like people, a lot of times, won't take a, won't study for a test until the last minute. Or they do everything last minute. Usually, it's too late. And that's what's going to happen with a lot of these modern women. I stitched a dude earlier who's claiming he's 43. And he is big mad about the 4B movement. And I couldn't figure out why Papa was so upset. But he claims he has a wife who's 25. Who I imagine comes from a checkered past to be with an old man like that. That's what men like that age do. They find young women from troubled homes that are easy to take in. I'm going to save you. Try to shame a man into dating them. How pathetic. You're not man enough. You're not brave. You coward. Dumb young woman. Every single one. Story's always the same. You can read this like a book. Somebody that much younger than you is easier to control. Because if what he's saying is true, and he's 43 and she's 25 and they're married, that means he's been with her, I would think, for a handful of years when she was even younger. And sorry, not sorry, bro. That's but that's what's got these men scared. They prey on these younger women that are easier to control. And they want to tell us who are telling these younger women the truth about their future or opening their eyes to this toxic masculinity, this toxic controlling behavior. And they don't want us convincing the handful of youngins that, you know, come from bad homes and need daddies. They don't want them getting wise. They don't want to improve their behavior because they're, you know, not capable of self-reflection. Most of them are just broken and guilty of bad behavior. And they're worried. And they keep saying, well... You know, if if all the women join 4B, we're just going to get worse. Okay. <laughs> a man who's 43, who has a wife who's 25, who acts like that, that man is guilty of bad behavior. And he knows it. Just like I told him in a response video, you're going to have to chain her up in the basement. If you haven't already, you're going to have to monitor her phone and her internet like she's a child. Because she's going to figure it out. She's going to... She's jealous. And grow up. She's gonna get tired. You grow up. And I know in his head he's like, well, I'll just get another one. I'll find another broken mess from a broken home and mold that one into my woman. Shame, shame, shame. Shame is one of the four major arrows of a low value woman. There's women all over the place that need a daddy figure. But if the women get wise. <laughs> It's almost comical how hard they're fighting accepting accountability for their own actions. The only way to keep a woman that young for any length of time is to control her with money, to control her, period. And I say this from experience. This lady is clearly upset. I think, how long is this? What, a, seems like three minute rant already, right? She is going in on this young woman and she's got to be like 50. She could be around 43. She probably wants that 43-year-old guy. That could be her ex-husband. 
I'm telling y'all, I'm getting on to something here, but misogynist, he's calling him misogynist. Why? Because he wants a younger woman? Why? Because you're aged out, right? The guy is not worried about the 4B movement that much. He has a younger woman. Why would he care what you women are doing? He does. He can care less. He probably cares because it's going to be bad for you. And what's so hard to believe that a guy actually cares about the state of women? I mean, I don't. I mean, I do because, you know, other guys are dealing with it. But you get what I'm saying? And why are you so upset and at arms about it? Yes, I was once a young woman who married a much older man. And it was awful. I would highly recommend never getting married. And I'm not saying there aren't good men out there because there absolutely is. But they're more the exception than the rule when it comes to relationships. A man can be perfectly okay in every other aspect of his life as a friend, at his job, you know. But I, don't date him. Definitely don't marry them. I think the other part that makes me laugh is they're trying to say men don't want women over 30. Or they'll come at me and be like, you've hit the wall. You hear that? That's you. Oh, yeah. See, that's what it is. You see that? So a lot of, I'm sure you guys have noticed, the women I've shown so far are bitter, old women who are not desired as much, right? All of them look like they're past 40. And they're saying 4B movement and shouting to the mountaintops because they're lonely. Like, say if a guy says, I'm lonely, I'm going to be a password, bro. It's a lot different because he's not going to be lonely. But what you women are doing with this 4B movement is saying, okay, <laughs> this is she's, I'm not getting anyone anyway. 4B, stop it. Not gonna lie, if I didn't meet my boyfriend when I did, I would probably be single in a part of 4B movement because I was having a horrible dating experience before I met him. Horrible. And he's a good man. So I'm sorry. I'm not gonna drop him to be a part of the movement. But. I'm still all for everyone else. Live your life as if marriage and babies are not on the table. Chase your dream. And you want to know the gag around all of this, this pressure on women to get into a relationship, pursue family and motherhood before we have our lives together? Is that in the process of becoming a self-actualized adult woman, that is actually how you manifest your dream life and your dream relationship. You cannot manifest the partner and the family and the children and the life of your dreams from a place of scarcity and fear. All you can attract from fear and scarcity, I hate to break it to you, are things that will ultimately be lost. You will either actually like lose them or you will lose the delusion and the fantasy that you created in your mind when truth and reality smacks you in the face. I'm just so glad that we are on this wave and moving in this direction as women because that story that was sold to us that we need to find a man and find a relationship that needs to be our first priority, that is a story that upholds patriarchy. Guess who benefits when we are not self-actualized, when we are not yet educated, when we don't yet even know ourselves, we don't know the world, we don't know our inner selves, we don't know our spiritual selves. I just, I cry all the time. You know who benefits from all that? When we feel forced to get into relationships from that space, it's the men that, that told us to put them on a pedestal and put the relationship and motherhood on a pedestal. And this idea that if you don't chase after that, you're gonna get left behind or you're gonna end up alone and miserable, it is so the opposite. When you focus on yourself and self-actualization, you actually end up in the most beautiful and healthy relationships and life that is not dependent on the man and the relationship. It is actually rooted in a truth and a love and a self-love and is not rooted in desperation. So yes, you could leave, but you will choose a relationship that feels really right and really centered. That's just what I want for all women out there. That's what I want for myself. That's what I want for every woman that I love. So we need to keep having this conversation because we have to undo the programming that we received and we need to start creating new programming for women of the future. So coming from a woman of the future, what I mean by that, it's her future because she's older, right? You notice something. The women that are speaking aloud us with this form B movement thing, right? You have some young but a lot of them that are sticking to it and sticking to their guns are old and guys are not dealing with them. And that's just facts, right? Look at everything going on in this day and age. There's so many things to be worried about. And they're talking about 4B movement. It's sad. 
Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. That's what we do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it worth it? No oh, yeah, it's worth it. Go. I never ran some man, I still go. If you're strong enough. Go, go, go. Look what it says. It says passport bros think these farm women will marry for love. Need to talk to YT dudes, YouTube dudes. I don't know what that means, but or white dudes. Okay, need to talk to white dudes. What What do you mean by that? Because there's white dudes that are still here out in the Philippines. She looks Filipina, right? And still going to these countries finding love, and <clears throat> they try to counteract. See, because passport bros, they trying to put passport bros and four B movement hand in hand, right? So woman is saying, yeah. We're going to stick to ourselves. Just kind of like Passport Bros are saying, we're not dealing with you woman anymore. But this is the answer for men, right? As she said, the one lady that was talking about, oh, the guy's 43 and got with a 25-year-old woman. That's what guys are doing. Is it to take advantage? No. It's that they want a woman that's younger, at a ripe age, can have babies. What's wrong with a man for, for caring and wanting to find a woman that's more fertile? And a woman that's more for him. What's so wrong with that? Black chicks are scavengers. Guys, get your passport because hot European chicks are checking for us heavy in the EU. Well, our new cast member starts today. What gets me is that these types of guys haven't even stopped to consider why a woman in another country would want them. It's because of your American money. It's because of the American privilege that you're supposed to have. And you don't even have that. For those of you that don't know what's going on, this and the rest of the tizzle, tizzle, tizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. It's so hard to say. The rest of the drizzle, drizzle guys are in a tizzy. They're in a tizzle because I was talking about in my last video how money is an energy and it changes the behavior of people who have it. So a lot of these conversations that go on between men and women about money and this and that, it clearly shows like where their mindset is or if they have it or not. I'm sorry to whoever came to my page expecting the usual relationship mumbo jumbo. That is not what my page is about. That stuff gets really boring and tired to me. And I really wanted to reach the people who aren't really stuck in this like mental matrix, who wants to bring nuance to conversations, who wants to think beyond the normal tit for tat. And I want to give a warm thank you to all the drizzle drizzle guys that boosted my video for me so I could reach my target audience. It's delusional. So as you see here, what the guy stated, black chicks are scavengers. Get your password because hot European women are checking for us heavy in the EU. Well, they're checking for us heavy everywhere, right? Not just the EU. Don't limit guys to a one country, right? Guys can pretty much go anywhere and find a woman that's for them. And guys are doing it. And women are mad. You see her, right? First thing, she all, she's, all she does seems like all day long. It's yep, 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 yep. And this is exactly why guys are leaving, right? And you see what she did? She grouped us in with the Jizzle Jizzle guys. She grouped us in, and, you know, we'll take it. But why? Because more and more guys are checking out some way or somehow, which is understandable. How could you be a man and not understand why guys are moving the way they're moving, especially in this day and age? Especially everything we say or do is because it's so bad in the West with women. And then they, they say, okay, we already tripled down already. All guys are doing is doubling down. They're saying, we already tripled, quad, quadrupled down. Let's five times down. Let's 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 quince down, right? I'm, I'm trying to make sense of it. Let's, let's go all in and turn these men completely away. And men will do it with a smile because we all realize. This is the way. You pass for bro. You pass for no. This is definitely more to life than dealing with you. He ain't lying.